my name is Jane Bell. I'm 18 years old and I'm America's pop star drag queen. Well, at first I thought that drag and trans were the same thing, and then after me fooling myself into believing that, I realized that drag queens were just guys dressing up, and I realized that wasn't the category that fit me. I never really came out. Um, I don't know. I was never really in, so um, definitely I just started posting pictures of me full face online and just seeing people's reactions and seeing people loving that really encouraged me to just keep posting more pictures of myself in full face and eventually coming clean. I've been in band since sixth grade, self-taught flute player. I've been doing flute consistently and I'm performing right now with the group Strike Winds and we just went to Dayton, Ohio and won first place. So that was fun. But I also did Color Guard and Color Guard and Drag share a lot of similarities in terms of the community. They both have the same mannerisms, they both thrive off the same energy. And a lot of queens in the scene down here actually started off in Color Guard. I've made a lot of friends in Guard. She dances a lot and performs, and in Guard you have to, like, you learn how to perform and dance and how to incorporate and mix them together. There's a lot of things like movement with like hands and arms and like be graceful. But she was like super nice and she was always energetic and she always knew like what she was doing. Drag is different for everybody. Some go on stage trying to look very masculine, some go on stage trying to look very feminine. Some people go on stage and decide to look like neither male or female. And people do different things. Some people just don't even, some people just stand there on stage and just look beautiful. Some people, what I do is I lip sync and I have a song playing and I lip sync and I try to tell a story through the song. The possibilities are endless for what people do on stage. I really want to push the idea of the pop star drag queen. It's something that I've fell in love with, pop stars, pop music, and I really want to push my own brand of that. Since I was little, I've been um, making these playlists for different stages of my life, and whenever I found songs that would fit together nice, I would put them together in a playlist. So for drag, I really hope to be able to promote it. Like this is this Eclipse era with these songs and really tell a story through a bunch of different songs. So the drag community and the trans community are pretty much polar opposites, which is why it's interesting that they're classified together. The drag community doesn't take itself seriously whatsoever, whereas the trans community strives on identity, which is totally fine. The drag community tends to make fun of it and poke fun at that, whereas you're challenging me as a guy to be masculine, so I'm going to be as feminine as possible. It's this underground sort of scene. Whereas with trans, it's more about keeping yourself with the public. I recently went to Universal with a few friends who've known me since, since I was a baby. I went in full face just because I was bored and I really wanted to try out. I really wanted to be myself and just put my face out there. And they kept calling me by my boy name, and it really shook me. And I kept telling them, oh, don't call me that, I'm not trying to get, like, clocked or anything. And they're like, oh, we're sorry, we won't. And they kept calling me by my boy name. And I know it wasn't intentional or everything, but it really put me in danger. It's not safe right now to be openly trans, which is why for trans people it's really important to be passable just for safety right now. Hopefully it's not like that in the future, but how it is. I'm definitely a performer and I love the drag community but I do plan on transitioning well, fully in the near future. I've only just started transitioning. It's been four months, five months, and like a week or two. So right now I don't really know where I fit in. Transitioning is actually really, really difficult and it's kind of shocking how difficult it is because for someone like me I was desperate to get on hormones and for a lot of trans people it's not a want, it's a need, because this is like a survival thing. You need to get like a year of therapy and then you need to go through all these regulations just to be able to meet someone to talk about getting hormones. The accessibility to actually transition is not easy and that should definitely be changed. In the future I'll definitely 
My goal is to be fully transitioned and live life normally in society as a female, but for now, this is who I am. Thank you.